What is the closest thing we have to Sarah Sjostrom in the United States of America currently? Filming this Tuesday, 26 March 2024. Well, I mean, if we're going for closest, closest, it's going to be a Swede competing in the NCAA who specializes in sprint freestyle. His name is Bjorn Seeliger. Uh, he competes for the University of California, Berkeley, California Golden Bears. So I'm going to do, let's provide a little context. Sometimes the closest thing is something of the same thing. Uh, Sarah Sjöström is Swedish and so is Bjorn Seeliger. He's just here uh, on loan, so to speak, uh, in the collegiate system. So this is my take on the Bjorn Seeliger 100 yard freestyle time of 40.90 seconds from 4 March 2023. I am Tannis Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. So this is the Bjorn Seeliger of California Golden Bears 100 yard freestyle race at the 2023 Men's Pac-12 Conference Swimming Championships in Federal Way, Washington State, United States of America. Time of 40.90 seconds in the final on Saturday, 4 March 2023. With his time, he achieved first place. I provide my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of my decision to not attend the championships that day. I attended the day before. Friday 3 March 2023. So this rhymes a little bit with a few of the athletic performance contextualizations I've done for the 2024 Pac-12 Conference Swimming Championships where I reflect on my decision to not go on a certain day. So I'm going to do this for the year before. So I went on Friday 3 March 2023 to the 2023 Men's Pac-12 Conference Swimming Championships, but I did not go the day of this race. Uh, so there we go. Uh, it was a speedy time. It was close to the, what, championships record, which he'd set the year before. Was it a relay or something like that? So it was speedy. And I think is the speediest 100 freestyle I have covered for a Pac-12 conference swimming championships. So I did a video of the Leon Marchand 100 yard freestyle relay split from this year as part of the his, his he was the first leg on the 4x100 yard freestyle relay for the Arizona State University Sun Devils and he went a 40.92 so not quite as fast as this time um and this was a speedy time at the time and still is a speedy time and so that's my take on it uh I was as someone who is part Scandinavian I was, there was a little bit of me that was happy to see my, my ethnicity win. Um, yes. And people could be like, but you're American. But I'm Native American. And most of those Americans in the collegiate system are not. So, <laughs> right? Ethnicity wins out Native Americans or shared ethnicity for the people who are not Native American. Kind of thing. And so... Uh, in terms of my decision to not attend the championships that day, I am, uh, especially having my experience, so I attended the corresponding day this year, 2024, um, it was, they had the same events, the same distribution over the days, so I did get to attend the spectrum of events on a Saturday for one of these championships this year, 2024, earlier this month, March 2024. Uh, again, I'm Tannis Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. And um, I'm happy it turned out the way it turned out. Um, I was very concerned about weekend traffic. If I had gone on Saturday, uh, I was photographing uh, swimmers the, for the, this 2023 championships. And I think it turned out the right way. I um, chose Friday for a certain set of people I was looking to photograph. And I was like, yeah, and, and this is what I'm going with. I'm not going to change it. And um, I'm, I stick by that uh, initial ruling. And it's, um, it, and I stuck by it at the time. And I stick by it having the Saturday competition, having experienced that. Um, however, I'm giving time to the performance now in this form. Um, so giving it attention in that way. So there we go. It positively reinforced my decision. Uh, both at the time, uh, before the before decision making process, at the time and the reflection after that back in 2023, and then after having experienced this Saturday repertoire of events, program of events, 
I, yeah, two thumbs up on my choice. No still being like, here you go. <laughs> you can go on the befriending Sarah Jostrom playlist. There we go. It's a, a fellow Swede sprint, freestyle sprinter some, to add some balance. So that is my take on the Bjorn Seligor 100-yard freestyle time of 40.90 seconds from 4 March 2023.